Hi uh, guys, um, this is just a quick um, video showing how I've made some simple bridges to go along with my river terrain that I previously made. Um, I promised I'd do it, so uh, here it is. Um, as I said, this is a very basic bridge. Um, I run a club, so I need to make quite a few of these in one go. And I'm getting these together to play some Saga, so um, I have a limited size and what I need as well. So I'll start off with um, some barbecue skewers. Uh, they'll make the base of the bridge. I'm um, using 2 mil balsa wood. Um, I've cut cut it to the width that you want for the bridge. Uh, Saga is between 4 and 6 inches, I think. I've made some smaller ones elsewhere, but um, the later ones I'm going to be making 6 inches because it also works well for the games where uh, Kings of War or Warhammer or something like that, where the average unit's 6 mil wide in the smaller ones. Um, so they can reform to that and still get ranks and that and be able to fight over the bridge. Um, cut down the grain to uh, create strips of balsa wood. Um, these range between 5 and 15 mil for a bit of difference. And then with my knife, I just took off the top corner edges of them, um, took out some of the sides, so they all look uh, wavy and misshapen. Um, so I'll just try and give it a bit of age and make it look less regular than the balsa wood looks. And then simply glue them with uh, I've got PVA wood glue I use, so it's nice and strong, down onto the bamboo skewers. Um, I've got a mixture here of 5 and 6 inch timbers that I did. Um, I had a few 5s left over from some small bridges I made. So I just stuck them on here and they blend in alright. And then just spray an undercoat. You know, here's one I painted earlier. So um, I started, I undercoated it with all the black spray, um, then did a dark brown base coat and then just lined it up and finally did a um, khaki. Uh, light dusting over the top of all just to bring out all the grain. Uh, it's just a close look just to show um, the effect of wearing it away with the um, knife and that and when it's dry brushed it comes up quite nicely. And <coughs> there's just a quick picture of it with the river section. As you see it just covers it up, there's nothing too fancy about it but it does the job nicely and blends in well once it's on the board. I uh, hope you'll see a few photos of them later on, as I think we're starting up a saga, um, Tale of Four Gamers, or a saga of four warlords, as the case will be. So there you go, quick, easy, um, I can do a couple of these in a night. Uh, I've got another two on the go at the moment, I'm making, so I'm making some six inch wide ones for uh, regiments and stuff as well. Um, I have got a small one, which is three inches wide, which I thought would be quite good for saga, so you've got quite a confined space to fight over. And just uh, another little thing to make your boards more interesting. As I say, basic, cheap, and easy. Alright, guys. So, thanks for watching. I hope it was some use for you. Um, it's nice, I know it's quick and easy and basic, but um, not everyone knows where to start with some of these things. You can easily work from this and make something a bit more complex if you want. So, until the next time, that will us.